I, when I first met <laughs> Emma, um, my first impression was she's all business. It's like she uh, she uh, she can make you do anything. Um, and then she became, um, I think she was an assistant dance captain. I, I've always known that she she's a she's a she was a born leader. Uh, um, and she's when we were even in the ensemble, she was so meticulous with with her work and uh, and passionate and uh, and she does it with 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 uh, even though she she can be serious looking you can see the joy in her eyes and and you know in her being well Emma was my dance captain in Miss Saigon um, so I worked with Emma very very closely because I was employed there as an actor really and someone that could sing yeah, I had to be able to dance, and to do that, it takes an awful lot of skill. And I mean that. Um, and Emma didn't give up to me and gave me all the work and time that I needed to achieve what I needed to achieve in that show. Um, I, well, I went on and had to play the engineer, and in that song, in that, um, they do the big song American Dream, and it's all very dancey and flowy, um, which is something that is not natural for me because I am an actor. Um, and Emma somehow made that very fluid and natural and stylistic. Something that is completely opposite to what I am. So she understood my needs because of her knowledge of the business. And she was able to communicate what I needed to do in a way that I understood. Now I didn't understand it straight away because it was all dance talk and it was all this and I would, it would intimidate me. So Emma found another way of making it work, putting it into my language, and she almost made it as if I'd found it myself, but I know that she found it for me. She's an ultimate professional. Always, always, ever since the day I met her, has been an ultimate professional. And a very nice person along with it. So, um, and I, I think she's, she's been passing knowledge on for a number of years, um, with many successes, uh, and I wish her luck to carry on doing that and I think she will. Great solid performer with a lot of talent that's, that was, when I worked with her, was reliable in anything she put her hand to. So, and, and that's a very important asset to have in the, in the business because you can be asked to do anything and Emma can do anything. <laughs> but she's someone who I still immediately recognise and always love to see and it's because of what, you know, the show we worked on, what she brought into the room, um, which was a great attitude to work, a, a wonderful way with people. Um, and she made you enjoy the work and that's, that's what you want in a good company the people who, who bring that atmosphere into the room, because it is hard. Um, a director said to me recently, I, 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 don't, like, I don't like those um, rehearsal rooms where everything's very difficult or crisis ridden, because if it's not fun, we shouldn't be doing it. We really shouldn't, and it, it, it's true. There are easier ways to earn a living, and, but that's dependent on people bringing the right attitude. It's a work attitude, but it's also got to be enjoyable, and that's what she's always epitomised for me. You were always happy to see her walk into an audition room or a rehearsal room, and there's no question that that's part and parcel of her and what she will pass on to kids. I think because when she, when I first met her, she's always been a grown-up, that, you know, if you look at her, she is not motherly, but she, you know, she, she has that caring uh, aura about her. And you know when she says something, you will listen to her. And yeah, give, you know, give her somebody, even, even if somebody if that a child can't talk, she'll, she'll you know, she'll make a make something out of that. She's a, she's a very beautiful human being.